Hi everyone, and welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. I'd like to thank everyone for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I'd like to welcome you to my show today, and I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so you'll know when my other shows are posted. Y'all, today we're going to take all of these zucchini and we're going to make them into boats. We're going to do some delicious flavors. Mm. All right, are y'all ready for this? Let's go. All right, so to get started, what you're going to need are zucchini, Parmesan cheese that I'm going to grate fresh. We've got some salt, some pepper, my sausage that I'm going to be using, panko crumbs, garlic, minced garlic, some parsley, one egg, and two tomatoes. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead now and get started preparing our zucchini. All right, to get started, I'm going to take a zucchini, and I'm just going to really, at the very end here, cut off the tips. And then I'm going to cut this lengthwise, and you want to get as even as you can to having two equal pieces. Just like that. All right. Now, I'm using a melon baller. You can use a spoon, a grapefruit spoon. And what you want to do is start about one quarter of an inch into the zucchini and go all the way down. So I'm going to start right here. Dig in with your spoon. And now I'm using a bowl right here to put in my pulp that I'm pulling out of the zucchini because we're going to use this in our stuffing. All right. So we're going to keep going down and go slow. Don't, don't be in a big hurry. You don't want to break your zucchini. It seems that a melon baller is kind of the perfect shape to use to go down your zucchini like this. That's looking really good. We're going to get down to the bottom here. And just make sure you don't go through the bottom, all right? Leave that quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to show you this right here. That's what it looks like right there. All right, so I have a few done already. So I'm going to go ahead now and finish the rest of these, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them after that. All right, so I've got all my zucchini all ready and scooped out. So what I'm going to do is tenderize them just a little bit. I've got some boiling water here with a little bit of salt that I put in there to kind of flavor them also. So I'm going to put in my zucchini boats just to soften them up for just a few minutes, like two to three minutes. All right, so we're going to let those sit in there. All right, so while the zucchini is cooking over there for just a few minutes, I've got some butter that I pulled out of my refrigerator, and I'm using a 9 by 13 baking dish. Now, you can use whatever size you're going to use. I've got a lot of zucchini I'm going to be cooking up. So I'm just going to take this and smear the bottom of my baking dish with it. This will prevent it from sticking and add a little flavor. Nothing wrong with adding more flavor to something, right? All right, I'm going to go on the sides a little bit. So I'm thinking my zucchini is now done. What I'm going to do is pull them out, and then I'm going to just drain them and then place them in my baking dish so that they're ready. And then we're going to start making the inside of our zucchini boats. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead now and start making our stuffing for our zucchini boats. Once we get started, it's going to come together pretty quickly here. So I'm going to go ahead, get my burner on. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to my pan here. Alright, next I am using some Jimmy Dean sausage. This is the breakfast sausage and it has a lot of flavor in there so we're going to put this in there. All you need is one pound of a sausage, alright, pork sausage, whatever sausage you want to use. So I'm going to open that up and put that in there. Oh yeah. So you know that sausage is smelling good right now, right? All right, I have my meat chopper here that I love to use for any kind of meats that I need to brown up. It's really used 
useful for ground meats. Ground beef, ground pork, ground sausage, ground chicken, anything like that. You just put it on there and then just twist. Just keep doing that and it breaks it all up into tiny pieces. Oh yeah. So if you want to know more about this little gadget here, just check down in my description box below. Alright, now while this is doing its thing, I'm going to take some of my zucchini pulp that I pulled out of my zucchini and I'm just going to lay some on the cutting board here because I want to add some to that. It'll bulk it up and give it some nice flavor uh, and keep all your goodness, right? We didn't pull it out to get rid of it. We want to use it. Just rough chop it. Let's check our sausage over here. Once it's almost browned, we're going to add the zucchini to it. That way it'll soften up and absorb all that flavor, y'all. All that flavor is coming through. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's looking really good in there. We're going to go ahead now, right before it's done, and add our chopped up zucchini. Help soften it up a little bit. Now, if you don't want to do this step, you can skip this step, y'all. It's not a big deal. All right, y'all. So I turned the burner off and I kind of cooled this down just a second. While that was cooling down, I was over here dicing my tomatoes. I was going to put two tomatoes in here. Color, y'all. Color, flavor, whatever it is that you want. Now I have my tomato here, a very sharp knife, and I just... It's almost like chopping an onion, all right? Very thin slices going one way, all the way to the end. About three quarters of the way down to the bottom. And then just turn it sideways and then go against those cuts. Just like that. About three quarters of the way down. Make sure you hold everything together there. And then we're gonna turn it on its side and we're going to drag our sharp knife right through it. And look at those dices right there, y'all, right there. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Does that look good in there, y'all? Of course it does, right? All right, y'all. Right my hands here. I have half a cup of panko crumbs I'm going to put in. I have one egg that I've whisked up. I'm just going to pour that in. All right. Get rid of this right here. All right. Parmesan cheese going in. Y'all see that? <laughs> I'm using a fine grater here. Oop. That's my piece of cheese there. All right, I'm going to keep grating about half of this. Oh, I can smell it. Mmm. <laughs> about one cup. All right, perfect. All right, next, I've got some parsley I'm going to put inside of here. A lot of parsley. It's color, y'all. It's going to go right, right there. Perfect. All right, we're going to season with some salt and pepper. Alright, I've got my pepper here. Flavor Town. Look at this, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Alright, and my salt. There we go. Alright, we're going to mix it all up. I'm going to go ahead now and add my garlic. <laughs> that was an ingredient I needed to put in there. About one tablespoon. All right, y'all. So my oven has been preheating at 400 degrees. Kind of want to get that going once you start browning your sausage. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Do y'all see the colors in there? All right, this is all mixed up and ready to go into my zucchini boats. Oh, y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Look at those colors. Mmm, right there. Alright, I'm taking my mixture now with a spoon 
and I'm just going to go into each zucchini boat and fill it up. Mm, look at that. Look at the colors. Oh, honestly. I'll put a little tomato right there. All right. Y'all want to see this? That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what we're cooking. All right. Y'all, I'm going to fill the rest of these up, and then we'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm ready to put these in the oven that's been preheating at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, y'all, look what I pulled out of the oven, and it smells amazing. You saw the ingredients go in here. Mmm. All right, y'all, I'm ready to put some on a plate and try these. All right, y'all, here goes my bite. Mmm. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so delicious. Mmm. That sausage is rocking in there. So delicious. Mmm. Alright, y'all. <laughs> Make you a zucchini boat just like this. You'll be so happy. Alright, y'all. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. I hope that I've inspired you. And comment down below what your flavors are in the zucchini boat. Give me a thumbs up. Y'all, I will see you on my next episode.